Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's uh, episode of Dev Talk. Um, today, we'll be uh, talking about webhooks and workflows. I'm Angus Reed with the sales engineering team. Hello and good morning. I am Patrick with the engineering team here. And before we get started today, Angus, I yep. have a pretty cool thing that's to show you. Ooh, I have what do set we have? up something new for your sales team. Okay, let's see it. I am not going to tell you what I did. No, why I'm not? I'm going to show you. So What do we have? Whoa! Look who we have here, <laughs> a red light. So what does that mean? Uh, what well, do we have? We have to talk a little bit about workflows and webhooks today before okay. we go through how we did that. Well, let's get into it. So okay. what did we just do there? So I created a workflow that uh, triggers a, what is called a webhook okay. when an opportunity is one. Okay. Before we go through what webhooks are, can you tell us a little bit about workflows. and Sure. So let's talk about a little bit more about the advanced functionality with inside of Insightly, um, specifically workflow. Workflow automation helps you uh, identify a lot of the mundane tasks that you see going on and on with inside of the CRM. Some of those things might be like updating tasks or maybe um, you know, converting an opportunity into a project, things of that nature. So the solution is to help you automate um, a lot of the processes that you see uh, on a daily basis. So um, why don't we talk about some of the examples of um, some of the some of the things that our customers use? Um, some of those things might be maybe an overdue task, or maybe a contract renewal yeah. date reminder, or even like we said, closing a lead um, and converting that into an opportunity. Um, or maybe even uh, notifying an account management team that a project's been created. Yeah, but these all sound like internal actions and in insight, like up to sending an email, updating right. a record as a result of uh, an opportunity or a lead being created. And it's created. kind of a limitation. It is kind of a little of limitation. Right. I'm pretty sure I can't make that light go red with any internal action. So how do we ping something outside of Insightly? And if we wanted to ping maybe another system or make an awesome light like that go off? So we are working on a couple of external actions, but okay. what we're here to talk about today, Angus, is webhooks. Right. So uh, first I'd like to go back and talk a little bit about APIs. So in our sure. first episode, we talked a little bit about APIs and the different ways of integrating with APIs. Great. Right. APIs for the longest time have been the external voice of an application like ours, a way to exchange data uh, with the with the service that you created it like on. the highways we talked about in the last episode yeah perfect right. but what what the, the problem with apis is that they cannot announce when data has changed right it's like my friend angus here every day angus Come comes on. seriously every day Tell angus me. comes and asks me is the where's new the ui ready yet where's the blade view where is the blade view we can i start telling customers we need about multi select it? fields and uh, most days my answer to angus is no you it's not ready yet and eventually, Angus, I told you, why don't I notify you? Why okay. don't I tell you when right. it's done? So and there you go. That's a webhook. So how does that relate to the webhooks then? So a webhook is a way of proactively announcing that data has changed. Okay. So when you proactively announce that data has changed, as a right. result of it, you can create actions. Got so it. what I did here is that I created a trigger for okay. this light bulb. So let's take a look at that. Perfect. So instead of me basically asking you all the time for information, what you're doing is you're going to alert me. I right? am going to alert you. Can we set that up with the new UI that's coming out soon? Uh, of course we can. All right, let's, let's do can. that then. All right, so all let's right. pop into system settings real quick. So I'm going to show the workflow that we have right now. So this is the one for the light. This is the one for the light. So inside system settings in the workflow process area, this is where we can configure this, right? This is where we can configure this. And we're going to start with the criteria. Right. Our criteria here is? What? It's a state equals one, right? Basically, when so an opportunity state has been changed to one. Got it. And that's what triggers your workflow. That's okay. the criteria that triggers your workflow. Great. Okay, Perfect. that makes sense to me. So. I think the sale, the light is pretty cool, um, but I've got an idea. Okay. Our sales guys out there are a little distracted at times. They have their headphones on. Maybe they're on a phone call, but it'd be kind of awesome just to like set off a really loud siren theft alarm that just freaks everyone out and says, "Hey, we've got a new customer here at Insight Lake." Is, is sure? that something we could do? Like a siren, like a yeah. fire alarm, like a that loud just, siren that makes them jump off I, of their seats. That's that's what we need. I mean, they're salespeople; they can roll with it. Interesting. What do you think? Well, can we do that? I just uh, happen to have the right alarm for you. No way. Yep. You have everything on the engineering I side. I actually bought this Wi-Fi siren alarm for your team. Okay. And I'm going to attempt just for the to team? set it up. 
Okay. For you guys. Let's take a look at this. <laughs> so what do we have here? This is a well, little theft alarm, right? Wi-Fi siren that you connect to your Wi-Fi router, and this there you go. There you have it. It's quite fancy. It is fancy. So, so what are we going to do with this? Let's there? um let's see if we can make this connect. So any time an opportunity closes, okay. this alarm goes off and freaks everyone out. All right. Can we do that? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to switch back to okay. the screen. And I'm going to uh, go and show the current webhook that I have for the light cool. to go red. Perfect. Eventually, what I'm going to do is add a new webhook for this. Right. Side. So we have the internal updates that we can do. Add a task, with workflows. send an email, add right. a new record. So add task. And then the external to, to connect to an outside system is the webhook. Is the webhook. Perfect. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to IFTTT. What is IFTTT? IFTTT is simply if this, then that. Right. If this happens, then do this. Okay. So and it's kind of like a portal to connect Internet, uh, Internet of Things devices to some sort of API or webhook. Yep. Okay. And so what is my if this at the current moment is when a workflow is triggered. So All right. the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do yeah. Let's is check this out. create my trigger, Okay. which is a, a webhook. webhook. Perfect. All right. So I created my webhook. What is my event name? Where yeah. we're going to call it deal closed. So uh, some of the other things that we could probably do with this maybe would be if there's a MailChimp unsubscriber or maybe there's a Google sheet we want to send data to using if this and that we can do a few other things like that, that too, right? That is correct, Angus. Almost every application out there today has supported webhooks. Yeah. And uh, including what you just mentioned, right. Google and MailChimp, they all set up webhooks for subscribing, unsubscribing, so what adding if, it to a What if I wanted machine. maybe like a text from, you know, like a Twilio-based like company that would send me a text anytime an opportunity close? Could, wow. could we do something like that? Yes, we can. And I have wow. actually was trying it okay. out yesterday with my friends at Zapier. No way. I was able to create... Is it Zapier or Zapier? Well, I st every time I ask them, they tell me <laughs> a different <laughs> answer. So I'm all just right. going to call it Zapier. All right. It sounds better in my head. Well, Let's so make this alarm go off. Well, let's get to that alarm. So, uh, I've created my webhook trigger. Yeah. And now, so what am I going to do as a result of this trigger? Well, we want this thing to freak everyone out. We want this thing to freak everyone out. Yeah. I guess we're the action. has support for this D-Link Wi-Fi right. uh, siren. So, That's all great. I have to do is say D-Link and D -Link. look at you. It's the there first it is. option. Boom. Okay, so what do I want to do? I want to play a sound. Right. Which Wi-Fi siren alarm? Well, I only loud. have the one. We need something to get them out of their okay, seats. Okay, how about a fire alarm? Definitely, yeah, let's do that. Not the doorbell. That's going to be way too easy. Okay. so Fire alarm. Perfect. And Here we this go. is going to be Dev Talk. And demo. then a new customer. And then this is for our new customer. This is for you, new customers, yes, anytime. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You're going to freak everyone out. Perfect. So I have my new applet ready. I've yep. uh, taken the liberty to already create it and turn it on. Boom. Okay. So we're on. And now we're on. Perfect. So okay. what is left, Angus? Right. My workflow trigger. Congratulations. So you fired the app one event. That was a test. So okay. now I'm going to take this URL. Right. Go to my workflow. So we're going to take the external, uh, what do you call that? So it's an external URL. It's just okay. the address of the webhook. So where right. are you going to? It's like when you asked me, okay, so right. where are you going to notify me that okay. the UI is done? And I asked you, it's like, whatever, wherever you want me to. Okay. And this is where I'm going to notify okay. the siren. So we plug in the uh, webhook endpoint. And I'll call this webhook the, action. the siren. There it is. Look at that. There okay. you go. Save webhook. Save the webhook. Perfect. Can so we do both at the same time? The light. So Look on this, this, we have a light actually as well on the sales side. So anytime we have a new customer, this light uh, goes off. So now can we have the light and the siren? Well, look at this. My workflow criteria says when status is equal to one. Right. Fire off two webhooks. Ooh. The first for the light, the second for the alarm. Let's test this Are out. Are you ready for this? I'm ready to go. You mean probably want to just, yeah. You, you, you want me to cover your ears too? And I'm going to go and change this opportunity to one. This is where the magic and happens. And save. Can they hear it from here? Lights on. And. Oh! <laughs> that's pretty loud. That's pretty loud. <laughs> I think that's going to get everyone up. <laughs> they can and probably the hear from our studio on. too. And there you go. That's great. That's really cool. That is the power of webhooks. Imagine. Wow. 
if I can turn on a light and turn on a siren. What, what about I a can disco do ball? In do you think we could put that yes, in the budget? If it's Wi-Fi enabled, I, think a disco I can ball definitely cool. create a disco ball trigger right. for a webhook for Okay. It. Maybe some black lights or something? Uh, I will see. <laughs> we'll probably need approval for that. <laughs> right, yes, right. Yes. All right. And um, yeah, this is how you create webhooks to set off sirens and turn lights yeah. red. All right. <laughs> well, maybe we can give a shout out to uh, someone over in our uh, our uh, our accounting team to white light you know some uh, some new purchases for this. Yes. Shout out to our accounting team. <laughs> right. Please. Yes. We need this. I actually want to talk a little about uh, the text message example. Okay. That you just told yeah, me. like Twilio. Yeah, we use Twilio and we use Zapier, and I right. it's very easy for me to connect the two. Okay. I create a new Zap by creating a just a catch all webhook. Okay. And then as a result of that, what is the action that I'm going to do right. is that I am going to. So the trigger basically says, all right, any time you see this specific event. Every time this URL is fired, okay. is hit, right. do something. Okay. And this something right now is send, send an, an SMS. SMS. So Perfect. maybe if I'm on the road and I want to know if my team's closing some deals or whatever they're up to, then I can get notified. Or maybe I need to update someone else on our team that an opportunity has closed or yep. something along those lines. Yep. Or a task, perhaps. Or a task. You have a okay. new task assigned to you. Okay. All right. So I'm going to save this. And I'm going to go through. I'm um, select the from number, select right. the to number, add the message. And there are a little more advanced ways to work with webhooks because right. webhooks send you a what is called a payload, which is the data that has changed. All right. Now you're going right. too deep on us. Yeah. So I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there. But suffice it to say that right. you have a new task. Okay. Basically. Great. That's cool. And now I have my webhook, which I right. can see Let me here. grab that and throw I it into grab the that, throw it into throw my it into the workflow, actions. and boom, I got a text message. That's pretty great. And you see how powerful this is and how uh, much you can extend right. outside of our CRM's world right. and connect to other services. To the external services. And to connect to external services. So if I have, webhooks. for instance, like an internal software um, at my company and we, ha we happen to have, let's say, an open API, um, maybe I want something to happen with inside of that system. I could do that too, right? Sure. Set up your own okay. webhook as a result of it. Write your own right. custom code. Wow. Which brings to mind another action that we are working okay. on currently. Uh oh. Uh, I don't think I should be talking about it uh -oh. uh, right now. Don't but tell. Don't tell product. Not yet, but I'm hoping to bring that to you, Angus, in the next episode and talk okay. about custom code as custom a result code. of webhooks. What is that called? And so we call this Lambda. Okay. Lambda functions are custom code that you can trigger as a result of a webhook. Uh, sorry, a workflow. A workflow, okay. And that's all I'm going to so say about Landum that So, random custom code coming to an instance near you soon. Yep. Yes, it is. All right. Yes, so, do you think we have any questions out there? I sure hope so. Does anyone, uh, anyone have any questions for Patch or I about uh, webhooks or workflow automation making your lives easier? Yeah. Let's see. We might have a couple. I have a question here that says, can I connect it to QuickBooks? QuickBooks. Well, QuickBooks is yep. another one of these services that actually provides webhooks. And if they wow. don't have the webhook that has a result, uh, resulting action that you need, right. you can always also go to Zapier and any other connector services and choose your action. Got it. And so my action here right. would be oh, so this is QuickBooks. Okay, so it's like an entire app store. You can search through these things. Yep. And That's so... Cool. Uh, yeah, with uh, and most of them provide their own webhooks, but if they right. don't, Zapier's got you covered. Now, so it looks like another question yeah. we just had. What's better, um, Zapier, Zapier or, or IFTTT? They're kind of different, right? They're a little uh, bit different. They're a little bit different, yes. IFTTT is very limited right. uh, to the condition and trigger. So okay. it's this, then that. Trigger, it's more of like internet, action. internet of things, right? Yeah, and so you yeah. add the action, and then based on that action, you do... Right. Zapier have taken the, uh, I guess, the effort, put in the effort to add a lot more criteria to okay. and, uh, and a lot, a much richer process because you want to do multiple steps or right. you want to change data somehow. So, okay. uh, so like Zapier's maybe connecting you, different software to yes. each other or things They're like that. They're very similar in most use right. cases, but in some of the most more advanced use cases, you'd want to go with Zapier. All right. Another one in there for you. Andrew. Uh, Andrew. 
can we not can we not use Zapier to trigger an AWS Lambda function? Well, you can, I think, uh, that Zapier has actually enabled uh, the, the wow. ability to trigger a Lambda function, Look which is that. great. You can create your webhook trigger and as a resulting action of that, just do your Lambda function. What would, uh, Andrew, what are you trying to build there? Yeah, that's an uh, interesting question. Let's see what let's Andrew's trying to build. It. Well, uh, wh what, wh while we wait for that, what, um, what else can we do with this Lambda? Uh, so, or are I we mean, saving that? Uh, we, I, I would like to save that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll Andrew, save that yes, one. you are correct. You can actually use Lambda functions right now with the current webhook action that we right. have enabled just by using Zapier. What we wanted to do is bring Lambda into Insightly, and in the next episode, I will go a lot more in depth about what All we right. did and Fair enough. how we made that work. Cool. All right. Any other additional questions out there for us? Yeah. Well, we're very interested and curious to see what, what use cases you have for webhooks, how you intend to use them, some right. of the cool ways that you actually do, like with the red light can or the Can you do it one more time for us? Of course let's I can. Let's show them the actual color change. Yeah, of course Ready? I can. Ready? I don't know if that's All too right. bright. Uh, hopefully not. Let's and try one more time. And opportunity there's no, s There's no trickery here. Lights this on. This is real. Siren. One, oh. Two, three, there we go. And there you go. Cool. So, so this is real time. This is real time. This is real it's time. an instant webhook that is triggered that as a result will turn this right. light red. Cool. Let me change that back. Uh, but I'm pretty sure there are a lot of cool stuff that uh, you guys can think of with right. webhooks. And well, we'll be very interested to see what you do with it. All right. Thank well, thank you all for joining this episode of Dev Talk. Uh, we look forward to seeing you guys next time and uh, take care until then. Yes. Thank you and take care. Goodbye. All right. Bye.